so uh, again good morning all so this will be the video lecture on data stretches so in yesterday's class we have gone with a link double linked list so in double linked list we have started with a insertion operation under insertion we have gone with a insertion at beginning insertion at the middle insertion at the end okay so next you have come for the deletion deletion at the beginning deletion at the end and deletion at the middle okay so in today's class so we are going with a new new type of list so what is the name circular linked list so what is the name of the list we are telling so it is circular linked list circular means it will be in the form of a circle okay understand what is a, what it is it is a linked list in a form of circle that means it is closed okay so linked list in the form of a circle the way the in the form of the circle we, that is each and every node in the list are linked to each other so first link is linked to first node is linked to second node second node is linked to third node and third node is linked to fourth node and finally the last node is linked to first node so keep this one in your mind so in each and every linked list what will what will happen so node one is linked to what it is linked to node two okay so next node two is linked to node three so dot 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 now you come for the node last node last is linked to node first so this is the concept you have to remember so what you are going to do it here so you are so node one is linked to node two node two is linked to node three and node last is linked to node first so that's why we call it as circular linked list okay so how it will be there that we will see in that we will see in this particular diagram so see this is the circular linked list so circular linked list understand this words it will be very easy if you understand okay so what we can tell here so what we can tell here so say circular linked list is where the pointer of the last node keeps the address of the first node so this is the pointer field okay in it is not double linked list only we are talking about circular linked list so if it is double linked list means you will be having two pointers so if it is so circular linked list means you will have only one pointer so keep this one in your mind okay so what happens in circular linked list where the pointer of the last node keeps the address of the first node so this is the last node first node you are having the node one address pointer contain points to node two and node two pointer is pointing to node three and node three pointer is pointing to node one so that is the last node pointer is pointing to first node okay so now you come for the concept if it is doubly circular linked list so this is only sir circular linked list means you have to keep this one in your mind it is singly so it is singly singly linked list means there will be only two fields one is the data field and the other one is pointer field okay so now you come for the word so what is the word here you keep this one in your mind it is doubly so doubly means how many pointers you will be having so doubly means you will have two pointers one is the next pointer the other one is previous pointer at that time what will be the case okay if it is doubly circular linked list so keep this one in your mind if it is doubly circular linked list then previous pointer of the this is the previous this is the next okay so previous pointer of the first node will point to where it will point to the last node 
okay so previous pointer of the first node will point to last node and next pointer of the last node will point to the first node so this is the concept of circular linked list so what when you call it as doubly circular linked list when the previous pointer of the first node is pointing to the last node and next pointer of the last node will point to the first node so at that time we call it as doubly circular linked list so understood the definition so what is circular linked list and what is doubly circular linked list that is the definition of circular and doubly circular have you understood the definition have you got okay can you answer how many pointers will be there in singly circular linked list how many pointer in singly singly circular linked list one okay so how many pointers in doubly circular linked list two okay so now you come for the now mostly we are going with what type we are so we have seen with a singly circular linked list but in more detail you are going with a doubly circular linked list so doubly circular linked list so what is the case we shall see here okay so how you are going to insert insert and how you are going to delete everything we shall see now okay so doubly circular link list so first you start from here okay understand this lines carefully okay so i am telling you again and again so this and next slide you see this slide you understand the words this slide also you understand the words so it is very important okay so first you come for the empty list so empty list means start is equal to null so start is a pointer which points to the first node of the linked list so initially empty list means there is no node in the list at that time we call it as start is equal to null okay so a node say n okay is inserted with a data 5 okay this is the node n which is inserted with a data 5 okay if this is only one node okay so previous pointer so what the previous pointer previous pointer of n points to n only okay so because there is only one list only one node in the list so previous pointer of the n points to the n and next pointer of n will also point to the n only but now start pointer points to first node in the list okay when it is empty list you are creating a new node okay what is that new node we take it as data is equal to 5 at that time how many fields are there we are going with doubly circular linked list so if there is only one node so this node node n we take it as node n node n previous pointer will points to node n and the next pointer will also point to node n okay so now you come for the initialization okay so sorry initialization no it is insertion so insertion of a node in a circular linked list so how you are going to insert a node in circular linked list so that we shall see with the three same three cases so which are the three cases we have insert at the beginning insert at the end and insert at the middle so first case it is i am telling you it is insert at last 
so this is the insert at last okay so this is the diagram okay so initially you are already you are having a list and that list is containing how many nodes so see here here we are having two nodes so node one contains five and node two contains six okay so now you have to insert a node at the last so last means it should come after six okay so node say m so m is the new node okay node say m is inserted with data seven so what should be done okay so node seven if you are inserting so node seven previous pointer should point to so where it should point so understand here previous pointer of m points to the last node okay so it should point to this is the initially before insertion so first you have to link each and everything so this is the first node this is the last node and this is the new node to be inserted okay so m dot prev m node m dot previous should point to last node so keep this one in your mind so m dot prev should point to last node okay so next pointer of the m now you have now you have inserted m dot prev is equal to last node and m dot next should go to where if this is the last node to be inserted m dot next should go to start node okay so next pointer of the m points to first node so first node is nothing but five as you are making this one as last node the last node next pointer should point to first node okay so keep this one in your mind and last node next pointer so last nodes next pointer now you go with this one so now you have node m previous you have given to last node node m next you have gone with a first node and now you start with a node m previous okay so node now you start with a last node next pointer points to m node so last node so last node next pointer so this one the last node next pointer should point to new node m and first node's previous pointer first node previous pointer will point to the m node okay so that you have to understand carefully okay so first what should be done so this is the first point so this is the first point previous pointer of m points to last node and next you go with the next pointer of m points to first node and this is the third case so third case is last node next pointer points to m node and and this is the fourth one so this this goes third and this one is fourth so these are the four steps you have to carry okay so if you are inserting a new node what all the things should be made so node m previous node m is the new node node m previous should point to last node node m next pointer should point to first node and node last nodes last node next pointer should point to new node and last one the first node previous pointer should point to m node so this is the diagram what we have given are you people understanding understood is answer me are you getting so if you didn't understand now again i will tell you just to go through okay so if you didn't understand this is the new node okay so even in, if you are inserting a new node at last what should be done so last nodes 
we'll take that last node okay so last node so last node previous pointer previous pointer ellig barbeku anta nodkoli so last node previous pointer should point new node previous pointer of m should point to last node okay so next you come for the next pointer of this one so next pointer of m should point to first node okay so now you come next this one is finished this one is finished now you have to come for this one last node next pointer last node this is the last node last node next pointer should point to new node m okay and first node previous pointer should also point to new node m okay these are the two things you have to remember for inserting at the last okay so now you come for the another remaining two cases so insertion at the beginning of the list okay if you want to insert a new node at the beginning of the list so already you should make changes to start okay so start is already you see the list you are having node 6 and node 7 and the start node is node 6 for that you are inserting a new node t okay so what are all the things you should make that we shall see it here if you are inserting a new node at the beginning so to insert a node at the beginning what are all the cases you are going to do so first you say to insert a node to insert a node at the beginning of the list okay so first you create a node say t this is the new node t so t means it is a temporary node okay so node temp with a data is equal to 5 so what is the first case you will do so first case is t next pointer should point to where so t the next to t the previous so that is the first matter t is next pointer should point to first node this is the first node this is the last node okay so before you insert this is the first this is the last so t is next pointer points to first node of the list and then you come for the second one second case is t is previous pointer so t is previous pointer so this is the first node so first node previous pointer is pointing to where so it is pointing to last node so if you are inserting a new one t is previous pointer should point to last node so t is this is the t okay so t is previous pointer is pointing to last node okay so now this part is finished so t then next is equal to first node t then previous is going to last node after that now you come for the remaining thing so remaining thing is this one this is the point number 3 last nodes next pointer this is the last node last node next pointer should point to where last node next pointer points to t node okay so next finally the fourth step so finally the first step the first node previous pointer should point to this is the first node first node previous pointer should point to t node and finally at last this is the fifth one at last make the start pointer to point to t node so actually the start pointer is pointing to node node 6 now the start pointer should point to node 5 okay so these are the steps you have to follow if you are inserting at the beginning of the list understood so artha maadkoli first t is next pointer points to first node t is previous pointer points to last node and first node's previous pointer should point to t and last first node's previous pointer points to t and finally don't forget to shift the start pointer to the t node okay so this is the insertion at the beginning of the list understood so now you come for the insertion in between the nodes of the list if you are inserting in between the nodes so what is the case you have to go so for that i will be explaining it, it in detail 
to insert a node in between two data values are required one after which the new node will be inserted and the other is the data of the new node if you are inserting in between so what you will point so you have to take the two nodes where you are going to insert so the previous should point to this one this is the changes what you have to make so this is the insertion in between the nodes of the list so what are all the changes you need to make if you are making the changes here so take it as temp1 this is temp2 and this one is new node okay so new if you are making this changes there will be no changes in last and first so only changes you have to make it is here so what are all the changes you are making here so you see this one you take it as temp1 temp1 is equal to 6 and temp2 is equal to 8 and new node we consider it as 7 okay so temp1 dot next should point to new node and new node dot previous should point to temp1 so similarly you come here so new node dot next should point to temp2 and temp2 dot previous should point to new node so these are the changes you should make it here understood understood all all the concepts of insertion have you understood all the insertion of uh, concepts insert at beginning at middle and last so what i have given the steps kindly follow that it is more than enough so now you come now you start with a c code for inserting a node at front and next you go with a so sorry it is not delete it is insert a node from end so it is insert the node at the beginning insert the node from the end okay if you are going for insert the node at the beginning so what is the thing you have to do that we have taken a function called add friend add at the friend so node stop add at friend okay so node last and data okay so if last double equals null so return add to empty that means there is no data if not so first you take the temp so temp then data is equal to you give the data now you adjust the links so while adjusting the links what you will write so temp then next is equal to so temp then next if you are adding at first so temp then next should point to last then next and last then next should point to temp so this is the you are moving like a circle so if you are adding at the front what should be done take a node and that node we consider it as temp okay so this is the syntax okay so temp temp then data is first you give the data so temp then data is equal to data and temp then next is equal to last then next and last then next should point to temp so last then next can you tell what is last then next this is the last last then next should point to temp and temp then next should is equal to last then next so that is the code for this one so similarly c function to insert the node from rear end so if you are inserting at the last so if you are inserting at the last what should be done first you check for last is equal to null okay so if not so now you come for the case so first you take the temp so same scenario temp is equal to 
okay so then you give temp 10 data is equal to temp 10 data is equal to data and now you see temp 10 next is equal to last the next same thing temp 10 next is equal to last the next you are also temp 10 next is equal to last the next here last the next is equal to temp here last the next is equal to temp and now you mark it as last is equal to temp okay this is the only change what you do when you go for the insertion so this is insertion at the beginning insertion at the beginning and this one is insertion at the last if you give it as insert at the last make the same changes but the last thing this is the very very important line so i will give it so all the code will remain same the only change so only change is this one so this is the only change you have from the above code okay so you can see each and everything if you write this you can write but lastly you give it as temp is equal last is equal to temp so that is the code to insert at the last so now you come for the delete operation so how you are going to delete a node okay so this is the university question which was asked so describe the doubly linked list with advantages and disadvantages and write a function to delete a node from circular with a header node so these are all the advantages we have given so what are all the advantages of dll or ssl sll means this is a doubly linked list this one is singly linked list okay so doubly linked list can be traversed in both the direction so delete operation is more efficient if pointer to the node to be deleted is given so in dll to delete a node pointer to previous node is needed to get this previous node the list is traversed so this are the some of the advantages and disadvantages are given and this is the code to delete a node from circular linked list so it's not very uh, that much important so only uh, most of the time we are going with a insertion operation only so very rare case you get the operation for deletion understood so now you come for the applications so under applications so what are all the where all the linked list are used so these are all the applications where you come across the linked list so he, these are the applications of linked list so one is chain data structure list representation stacks and queues dynamic memory next doubly linked list are used with system with back and forth and circular linked list are used for memory allocation and then doubly circular linked are used for fibonacci heap okay so now what are all the activities you should do so you have to execution you have to execute the circular linked list and circular doubly linked list okay so so this will be up to the references and credits so this is up to linked list concept so we have seen up to doubly circular linked list so so you so use this attendance link to answer your attendance Have you understood up to here? So this is up to double circular linked list. Okay.
so if any doubts you can ask me okay so i have given uh, this is up to this class so so see you in the next week so thank you all